Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, the Poco F3, also known as the Redmi K40. Now, this is a device on which we do flash a lot of custom ROMs. It's powered by the Snapdragon 870, has a wonderful display and has amazing development for custom ROMs as well. Now, today we are looking at a new guy over here, Xdroid CAF, based on CAF. So, that is going to be really, really interesting. I flashed it yesterday, I've been using it since then and the initial impressions are really, really good. So, before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kalash, let's get going. All right, so what do we have here? Xroid CAF, CAF R ROM for Elliot. Now, this is 1.6.5 red, white, OBT, whatever that means, Android 11 stable, updated on the 20th of October, 2021. Download changelog for the ROM. Let's have a look at the changelog for the ROM real quick. Merge CAF tag, this is this. Merge September security patch, thanks to this, this, this. So not much there as far as the change log is concerned. Now to put it into perspective, this is a ROM which is based on Android 11. I have tried it for the first time. So I was sort of excited to see something new coming my way because almost all the custom ROMs are more or less the same. They have, you know, some have more smoothness, some have less smoothness and stuff like that. But this one actually surprised me by how good it is. And that is the reason we are looking at today's video. So the moment you boot into this ROM, you have this very vibrant Xroid wallpaper. To the left, of course, you have Google feed, which looks a little different. I'm not really sure if they've done anything to the Google feed. I don't think so. But if you see over here, this is set to 120 hertz mode and just look at the smoothness. I mean, this guy is refreshing the Google feed and still the smoothness is just next level, which is something really, really neat. Now on the home screen, you don't really have a lot of icons, but this ROM does ship with Gcam pre-installed. Although I have installed another version of Gcam with the Ion XML. So we will have a video coming on that very, very soon. But this ROM doesn't have a lot of bloatware. That is a common thing amongst almost all the custom ROMs. And the highlight over here is this is based on CAF sources. So that makes it really, really interesting. Now if you press and hold over here, you have home settings in which I think you have the pixel launcher. Let's see here. Yeah, it, it is the pixel launcher or the pixel experience launcher, whatever you want to call it. And at the bottom, you have the Google pill where you have the Google search bar. You have your assistant, you have your assistant shortcut over here. And if you go to the multitasking menu, you have screenshot. There you go. Share, edit, delete. And you have the select option, which works absolutely fine. If you swipe from the top to bottom, you do have your quick tiles with your brightness slider, which is really, really neat. It does show you your provider and your data usage as well, right? If you go to edit, you do have quite a lot of customization. Now this ROM doesn't really, really go the mile with custom and customization stuff. You know, you don't really have a ton of customization like Resurrection Remix and some other ROMs like Evoc OS out there, but it does have some customization like you can disable heads up notifications. You have the volume panel option, you have reboot, quick tile, you have caffeine and stuff like that. So you can go ahead and add those as per your convenience. You do have a built-in screen recorder, which allows you to record internal and external audio. You can record in low quality. So let's start the screen recording. You have a timer over here. There you go. The screen recording has started and see, there is no stutter, no jitter, even though the screen recording is going on. So let's go ahead and stop the screen recording real quick. As you can see over here, it is already processed. So let's go here. Okay, I'll tell you this while recording the screen, there was no stutter or jitter in the UI, but in the recording, there might be something, but I believe that can be fixed by, you know, changing the bitrate and stuff like that. And if not, maybe in the next update, they will go ahead and work on it. Anyone from Xroid team, if you're watching this, this is something you should look into because it'll really make the ROM even better. 
Now, as I said, this ROM doesn't really come with a lot of bloatware. So let's go to settings over here. Now, this is the interesting part. The settings menu is reorganized in a very, very different way compared to other custom ROMs. And that is something that I, you know, really, really like. If you want to differentiate your custom ROM, make it look different. Give it some unique features. That is the reason people come to custom ROMs. People just don't come to custom ROMs for smoothness, for you know stability and stuff like that for that we have miui we have stock roms so let's see what's going on over here so you have minimalist get your favorite customization here now see how nicely they have laid out the customization menu and i am a big fan of teams like these who work really really hard on the customization menu because now look at this this looks polished this doesn't really look like a custom rom or aftermarket rom this looks very close to you know something that a stock rom would be from a big manufacturer and stuff like that so if you go to status bar you have status bar icon clock settings traffic indicator battery percentage you have next to the icon and you have battery style and under quick settings you have some customization then you have your gestures for swipe to screenshot so let's try that there you go that was quick and smooth and you have your gesture navigation stuff over here then you have your button customization for quick torch and stuff like that and then you have your lock screen customization and then you have miscellaneous in which you don't really see a gaming mode that is surprising but that's okay not everybody plays a lot of games and for for some of you who do this rom does have an option to disable heads up notifications you can go ahead and record your gameplay as well now something that i liked about this rom is not only the settings menu with customization is laid out in a very very different way they've also given very few amount of customizations you know something which is to the point things that you will need you know you might really want to customize those options they've given you those options and that is really really neat now the first thing that you see over here is about phone and yet again xdroid team have laid out the about section in a very very good way now the reason it says kratos is because i'm signed into that particular account and this is the build number as you can see owner name you can go ahead and change that information if you go to firmware information you once again have you know an OTA updater and stuff like that so you have android version 11 you have your Android version you have your calf version and the kernel that they are using is the optimus drunk kernel right now moving on you have hardware information as you can see over here all the information that you need is available now moving on you have account internet connectivity so under internet you have your wi-fi mobile data and all the other options under connectivity of course you have bluetooth and stuff like that which is working absolutely fine now if you go to the display section you have dark theme you can go ahead and turn that on or you can turn it off it looks good because it's an amoled display you have your brightness percentage adaptive brightness night light screen timeout you have screen attention and you have a refresh rate toggle for minimum and maximum refresh rate so it does have adaptive refresh rate that is neat you have tap to wake and you have your lock screen customization now see you do have some customization in this particular menu as well which is really neat pocket mode pocket mode is battery friendly is what they're saying and yes it is useful most of the time now if we move to the battery section over here you do have thermal profiles and as you can see i've set the thermal profiles for gaming or benchmark for the respective applications and it works absolutely fine now the last full charge was 29 hours back i've used the screen for 1 hour and 58 minutes since then and we still have 87 percent battery so if we go to the battery usage you do see i've charged it in between but i'll tell you this let's have a look if we have this option of selecting this particular section no but i'll tell you this the battery life on this rom is really really neat the charging speeds are really really good i've not had any major issues as well now if you go to sound you have do not disturb and under advanced you do have a ton of options over here you also have the option of clear speaker and you have your apps section where you can go ahead and make all the changes to individual apps and you also have a permission manager you have a dedicated privacy menu which is based on android 11 of course and under security you have face unlock and fingerprint unlock which works absolutely fine you have digital well-being google and other customization wherein you have reset options developer options and you have gestures as well so you know i'll tell you this with the 60 to 120 hertz refresh rate xdroid for me has been performing really really well the battery backup is decent the rom is not the top of the line when it comes to custom 
ROMs for this device, but yes, you can definitely bear it as a daily driver. Let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers real quick. So the CPU throttle test is here. CPU throttle to 90% of its max performance. This one dip that you see might be a notification, but the average score, look at the average score. 253,176 GIPS. So that is something really, really neat. That is a good score for this particular device. Now, if you actually go to Geekbench, so surprisingly in Geekbench, we have 761 single core and 152 multi-core. Now I did run this twice, as you can see over here, but I was constantly getting low scores. I really, really don't know why. Even if you go to Antutu for that matter, the score that we got was 618. So Antutu score is pretty less as well. But if you look at the app icon animations, the smoothness, the RAM management, everything is excellent on this particular ROM. And this is Android 11 based. So of course it will be stable for daily use. And if we actually go to the Play Store, over here if you go to settings, the device is certified, so safety net and wideband L1 are not a concern. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about Xtroid. I'm really, really excited. I might use it for a couple of days. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.